The story is told of an Olympic gold medalist high diving champion who was once plagued with insomnia. As he tossed and turned upon his bed, he began thinking deeply about the success he had attained in his field. He meditated on the gold medals he had won. To his dismay, he realized that his success had not achieved what he had hoped. The excitement of winning, the photographers, the medals, and the fame had given him some sense of pleasure, but the fact of death awaiting him left him with a complete sense of futility. He rose from bed and made his way to the diving pool. Because of the full moon, he didn't even bother to turn the lights on. As he climbed the high diving board, he watched his shadow cast by the moonlight on the far wall. The routine had become so commonplace to him that he could confidently walk the board in the semi-darkness. At the end of the diving board, he prepared for the dive. He placed his feet together, then pulled his arms up to a horizontal position. As he did so, his eyes caught a glimpse of the shadow on the far wall. All he could see was a perfect cross. His mind immediately raced back to Sunday school days. God commends his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 says. All of a sudden he felt unclean as he considered the commandments he had broken. Yet the sinless Son of God had come to pay the penalty for his sin. With tears in his eyes, the great athlete turned around. He slowly made his way down to the bottom of the diving board. He fell to his knees and yielded his life to Jesus Christ. He was able to go back to bed and sleep peacefully. In the morning he arose with a new sense of forgiveness of his sins. He made his way back to the pool, but to his utter astonishment, it was completely empty. The previous evening, the caretaker had emptied it and was just beginning the filling process. 2 Corinthians 6.2 says, Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The Olympian had made the dive that night, he would have died in his sins. The Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We are all storing up God's wrath till the day of judgment, for even our thought life is judged. He would have spent eternity in hell had he made the jump that night. But when he realized this, he repented. That means to see Jesus Christ for who he is, the sinless Son of God, who came in the flesh, taking our sin debt upon the cross, crying out, it is finished, meaning the debt was paid once for all. Romans 4.25 says, who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. What we need to do is admit our sins and place our faith in Christ alone. God who cannot lie will forgive your sins and give you everlasting life. When are you going to do that? Why wait?